So we're looking um, at Britain's fourth canticle to mark Epiphany, the journey of the Magi. Uh, he composed five canticles uh, between the 1940s and the 1970s, and they're all quite large, extended vocal works, usually on um, a religious theme, um, and all feature the tenor voice. And in this case, the tenor voice is flanked by a countertenor uh, and a baritone. So it's for three voices and piano. Um, and for a text, he uses a verse by T.S. Eliot, um, who's a poet that Britain claimed he didn't always understand. Uh, it was quite a mysterious, modernist type of verse. Uh, and in this poem, uh, the three kings are looking back on the journey they made to visit Christ when he was born. Um, and it's a very difficult journey. They're looking back on what was actually a, a mysterious and not straightforward event uh, where they found they weren't quite sure what they were expecting when they get to the other end. And it was a difficult and arduous and painful journey. Uh, the tone of the poem, as such, is quite deadpan, it's quite questioning, it revolves around some repeated words uh, and, and a kind of confused recollection of actually what happened, so it's not just a straightforward linear tale. And Britain uses this deadpan and repetitive quality throughout, circling around the same phrase over and over again, as if trying to remember exactly what happened, and the three voices um, figure in unison, so they're singing together in this, in this really beautiful and unusual way that sounds almost like a, a kind of barbershop quartet, although in this case a barbershop trio. Um, and the piano part has a rocky, uneven ry rhythm, um, as if it's the uncomfortable journey of the camels, the, the, the kings were riding there on camel, um, and it, it expresses and sets the tone right at the beginning, the discomfort and unusual nature of this journey. And at the end, the piano puts in the plain song tune uh, known as Magi Evidentis Stellam, The Wise Men Saw the Star, which is about the only explicit Christian element of this work that really tells, tells you that these are the three wise men that's not really to be found in Eliot's poem. So overall, this is a late Britain work setting a complex, uh, existentially challenging modernist poem to a barbershop trio over a piano representing the march of a camel. What's not to like?